everyone! Welcome back to English Sunday School. Did you guys remember to obey the Ten Commandments this past week? Great! I hope everyone was able to follow them. Let's continue learning about the Israelites and their journey into the Promised Land. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Finally, the Israelites arrived near the Promised Land. God told Moses to send spies there. Moses picked 12 men. He told them, find out what the people are like. See if the land is good. They went on this mission for 40 days. During this time, the spies saw how wonderful the land was. Moses gave them many questions to answer during their mission. Pause the video here to go and read. Numbers chapter 13 right now. Then let's answer the questions together. Let's start. Are the people there weak or strong? Strong. Good. What kind of land do they live in? Hills, valleys, and seas. Great. Are their cities fortified or not? Fortified. Mm hmm. Are the cities large or small? Large. Good. Is the soil fertile or poor? Fertile. Fertile. What type of fruit was there? Grapes, pomegranates, and figs. Great. Now we know what the land there was really like. But let's see what happened. The spies returned and said, the land is beautiful. It's filled with plenty of food, but the people there are big and strong. Joshua and Caleb, two of the spies said, do not worry. God has promised us this land. He will give it to us. But the other 10 spies did not agree with Joshua and Caleb. They spread lies that the land was bad. The Israelites became angry. They did not believe the words of Joshua and Caleb. God saw this and became angry. God said to Moses, the people do not have faith in me. They cannot enter the land. So for the next 40 years, God's people wandered in the desert. The story still continues, but we'll get to that next week. This week, we learned that God is slow to anger, but he still punishes those who do not obey him. Our God loves us, but we need to remember how powerful and strong he is. Let's focus on what God wants for us in our lives. Then you will be happy. See you guys next week. Bye.
today we'll do sticker board. Let's go. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. The washing of feet symbolizes the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus loves his disciples and all of us very much. Today, we're going to make a puzzle using this box. Then, shall we begin our activity? Who can do it? Me, 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 I can do it! Shall we look at our materials? We will need a Jesus wash it the disciples feet template, hot glue, a ruler, a color knife, glue, a pen, scissors, and three box pieces. Then, let's get started. You can click more download to download the template through our download link. First, cut the three box pieces into the same shape. Focus here. Cut the box 25cm wide and 18cm long. Measure 2.5cm inward from the edge on our four side. From there, draw 13 squares that are 4cm wide and 4cm long. Cut them out. Caution! Make sure you have an another to help you use the hot glue and color knife. Now, 
Mark the three boxes with a pen so that they don't get mixed up. Throw away the top right squares of boxes 1, 2, and 3. Leave the remaining square pieces in the box 1. Take out the square pieces from boxes 2 and 3. Second, measure 1 cm from the edge of the box 1 and draw two lines, one up and one to the side. Line up box 2 to these lines and glue it onto box 1. Glue on the square pieces from box 2 onto the square pieces of box 1. Third, line up box 3 to align with box 1 and glue it onto box 2. Glue on the square pieces from box 3 onto the square pieces of box 2. Cut out the big template picture and glue it onto the square pieces of box 3. Glue on the small picture to the bottom right part of the box. Finish. Look, today's final product. Did you guys have fun? It's really cool, isn't it? You can make this at home in your family. I hope you succeed in solving the puzzle. And I hope you love each other thinking about how Jesus shows his love by washing the feet of his disciples. See you next week. Bye.